Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today I wanted to talk about the ways in which leaving the religion of Jehovah's Witnesses made me a better person. I've been thinking about this a lot lately and I came up with a list of seven ways that I am now a better person having left the organization of Jehovah's Witnesses. There are probably many more than that, but these are the seven that came to mind when I sat down to make a list. The first way is that I now acknowledge other people's goodness and their motives for doing things. When you're one of Jehovah's Witnesses, you're taught that everyone that isn't a witness, isn't serving Jehovah, is actually serving Satan. You're taught that they're dangerous, that they're not to be trusted, and that even if they're good people, when push comes to shove, they won't do the right thing. They'll be selfish and controlling and just this host of negative qualities that the organization of Jehovah's Witnesses applies to people that are not one of them. When I left, however, I very quickly discovered that that wasn't true at all, that people had good motives when they did good things. Now, that's true, there are bad people out there, and some of them have bad motives, even if they're doing things that appear good. But then I knew all kinds of people like that in the Kingdom Hall, and don't even get me started about all the lawsuits that Watchtower is losing because of a lot of the bad people that are allowed to be inside the congregations of Jehovah's Witnesses. So that was a big one for me. When I saw someone doing something good, I could actually look at them and say, wow, that person's doing a good thing. That's a good person. Not, oh, that person's doing a good thing, but they're really serving Satan. And if things got bad, they wouldn't do good things anymore. You have police officers, firefighters, neighbors, friends, just a huge host of people that when crises have arisen, have done very good things. And it doesn't mean that there aren't bad people in all those groups. Of course there are. But not being one of Jehovah's Witnesses allows me to acknowledge the goodness and the motives of people whenever they're doing good things. And that, I think, is very important to me having become a better person since I left. The second way that I've become a better person since leaving Jehovah's Witnesses is that I now have a lot more compassion for people who aren't Jehovah's Witnesses. See, when you're a witness, you're taught to fear the world because it's dangerous and run by Satan and everyone is doing bad things or they're not honest and all these all this stuff and if you know somebody that is actually a bad person who possesses a lot of those bad qualities it's hard to feel compassion for someone who's constantly hurting other people and doing bad things so even if watchtowers intention wasn't to get Jehovah's Witnesses to not have compassion for people on the outside. That really is the side effect of telling your followers that everyone but us is bad, that they're all serving Satan. The side effect is they're not going to have compassion for those people or not nearly as much compassion for them. It, they might have compassion for them in the way you do for the bad guy in a movie where you understand why they're doing what they're doing, but you still cheer when they're stopped, thrown in jail, <laughs> die, whatever, because they were bad people. So you might have a little thread of compassion, but it's not enough for you to want them to be saved. You know what I'm saying? And since Jehovah's Witnesses teach, because of Watchtower's teaching Jehovah's Witnesses, that everyone's going to die at Armageddon that aren't Jehovah's Witnesses, well, how do you have compassion for that? I mean, there's only 8 million or so witnesses, and there's billions of people on the planet. And it really does wear at your ability to be compassionate. But now, now that I'm out, I don't have that view anymore. When I see people that are hurting, people that are suffering, uh, homeless people, uh, people in need of help and assistance, I'm quickly moved to compassion in a much greater way than I was before. And for me, that makes me a better person than when I was one of Jehovah's Witnesses. 
The third way that I've become a better person since leaving Jehovah's Witnesses is that I no longer see myself as better than other people. See, that's another side effect of the teaching of Jehovah's Witnesses is if we're the only ones who have the truth, then everyone else is viewed as lesser than them. Well, we have the truth and you serve Satan. We're better than you. Even if they don't directly teach that and they wouldn't say that word for word, you can't get around that being a side effect of believing you're the only one with truth. So Jehovah's Witnesses tend to be very haughty in their belief system and not humble about the fact that we're all just people doing our best to get through this crazy life in this crazy world. They don't see it that way. They're better than other people. We have the truth. They need it. And so you see that a lot, especially online, when you see witnesses communicating with themselves and other people. They're very haughty in the way they talk because they really believe, if they're true believers, that they're the only ones on the planet with the truth. But when I left, I quickly realized uh, I didn't have nearly as much truth as I thought I did, and other people are doing their best to find truth in their lives, and so it equalizes things. I no longer think I'm better than other people. I think I'm just another person doing my best, just like they're doing their best. doesn't mean I always agree with everybody. I mean, we all have our opinions and the reasons we believe what we do, but I respect other people's beliefs and opinions much more readily now than I did as one of Jehovah's Witnesses, and I think that makes me a much better person. The fourth way in which I've become a better person since leaving Jehovah's Witnesses is that rather than waiting on Jehovah to fix things, which is what Jehovah's Witnesses tell you to do, I actually try to solve problems. For instance, I've given to a variety of charities since leaving. I've worked for a few charities, Habitat for Humanity. I helped build someone's house who was in need of low-income housing, and that was a wonderful experience. And that experience actually added on to the other experiences of recognizing the goodness in people. I did a bunch of work in Charlotte for uh, Love Incorporated, which is a group that sends people out to help mostly the elderly and disabled, but also also people who are poor with things that they need done around their house. And I met wonderful people. Uh, I met a, a guy who immigrated here from China like 30, 40 years ago, Mr. Chen. He was retired by the time I met him. I painted his house and uh, helped him fix and repair things around his house, got to know him. We ended up going out to dinner together. He came to our house for Thanksgiving. You know, he became a friend and it was really wonderful to see his perspective. He was funny and interesting and just you know, a great person. And it was really nice to get to know him because I did that charity work. I helped a lady who had trouble walking, who needed a walker by power washing her deck for her because it had gotten this like slimy mold on it and it was slippery and it was dangerous. And so I went and got a power washer and you know, did that repair for her. And I did some repairs on her deck so that the... Uh, the railing was more sturdy because it was having problems. Just a variety of things like that, variety of people. I met a guy who uh, is bound to his house. He's in a wheelchair and he lives in a little trailer, a little FEMA trailer uh, out on the outskirts of Charlotte. He was a great guy, uh, an ex-vet, but he had a lot of problems, physical problems, some mental problems, but just a wonderful person and, and his attitude, despite being in the terrible situation he was physically and financially, was just amazing. He had such a positive outlook and he would laugh about his own inability to do things and just really inspiring person. And I never would have met that guy had I not been willing to go out and try to help people with their problems. If I just waited on Jehovah, I wouldn't have been able to do the good things that I did to bring even just a little bit of relief to people's lives in my community. And I wouldn't have gotten to know the people that I got to know who turned out to be amazing and inspirational individuals. Now, 
again, I'm not saying everyone's like that or that's always going to be your experience, but I'm saying you just don't know until you do. And it's better to try and to go out and do a little bit of good in your community rather than just wait around for some paradise you think's going to come. Even if it is going to come, why shouldn't you help people now? I mean, that person's still suffering now. Even if God is going to come and fix everything, you could fix something right now. And if everybody on this planet, if all seven and a half billion people or whatever the number is now, went out for one hour a month, forget what Watchtower wants you to do, forget, you know, 10 hours a month, one hour a month and helped just one person in their community. Can you imagine the difference that that would make in the world? So that outlook has made me a much better person. I no longer wait around to for things to be solved. And that includes my own problems, not just helping other people. I don't wait around for, oh, let me just pray and God will fix it. No, I'm going to take steps to get things done to solve my problems and to try to help other people too. And that, I believe, has made me a much better person. The fifth way in which I've become a better person since leaving Jehovah's Witnesses is that I get to know people a lot better. People that before, again, with that whole witness mentality that everyone who's not a witness serves Satan, uh, I would stay away from, like neighbors, like coworkers, like uh, people that I just meet in day-to-day -day life. I wouldn't try to get to know those people because I had this very haughty view that I was better than them and looked down on them because that's the side effect of the teaching of Jehovah's Witnesses. But I don't do that anymore. And what's interesting about that is, see, my father was Cajun French, and that community is incredibly hospitable. So my father was always very hospitable to people, even though he was one of Jehovah's Witnesses to my brothers who weren't witnesses at the time, and their friends and their families. Dad was always very hospitable, so that's what I was taught. And after leaving Jehovah's Witnesses, my the culture of my father came back. Like, while I was a witness, the witness culture had overridden my family culture. But when I left, that family culture came back. And so now I'm much more quick to invite people in, to sit and chat, to have coffee, to do things like that with people, to try to get to know them better. That makes me a better friend. And more importantly, I believe that makes me a better person. The sixth way in which I've become a better person since leaving the religion of Jehovah's Witnesses is that I no longer expect people to conform to what I think they should be in order for me to respect and admire them. I allow people to be who they are, and I'm okay with who they are. So as one of Jehovah's Witnesses, you think that there's this very strict moral and social code that everyone has to follow. And if they don't follow that, they're bad. They're serving Satan. They're sinners. They're letting their imperfect fallen flesh get to them and things like that. And so you judge them. Again, that may not be the intended consequence of the teaching of Jehovah's Witnesses, but it is the side effect. They are very, very judgmental of each other, and especially of people on the outside. So, but once I left, and that the fog cleared, I stopped viewing people through that very narrow lens of requirements, and just let people be who they are, and respect and appreciate and admire who they are, as long as their traits and qualities make them a good person in the way they treat and deal with other people. That makes me a much better friend, because I don't have to have my friends fit into this very rigid structure of belief in order for me to care about them. My closest friends here in town, we're very different in a lot of ways, and yet we get along great because we don't have to be the same. And I feel like I learn more from people, from my friends, from my acquaintances, from my neighbors, from my coworkers, because I accept that they can be good people without sticking to this very narrow, rigid definition of what that means. So I don't live in an echo chamber anymore. As a witness or as any uh, member of any very tight group like that, 
you're constantly hearing what you already believe being bounced back at you. No one ever challenges your ideas with other information that might show you to be either mistaken or in need of an adjustment of your viewpoint, as the Watchtower would say. But when you get out of that echo chamber and you start hearing other people's ideas and you can't refute them, then you have two options. You can either label them as bad and run away, or you can accept that what they're saying has truth and incorporate that truth into your own worldview, which makes you a more tolerant, better person, in my opinion. And I really wish people would do that today, not just on a social level, but on a political level. In this country, things are a mess. Nobody gets along. Everybody's always talking about how bad the other person is. And I'm not a very political person, but it's really sad to see that. And I feel like that whole us versus them mentality, that echo chamber existence that these groups have and that I had as one of Jehovah's Witnesses, they just feed that kind of stuff. And it's just not good. It's not good for people. It's not good for society. So for me, I've become a much better person since leaving Jehovah's Witnesses because I left an echo chamber and I now am more quick to accept people for who they are rather than requiring them to conform to a rigid set of rules that define good and bad people. And the seventh way in which I've become a better person since leaving Jehovah's Witnesses is that rather than seeing all other belief systems, and I mean religions and non-religions like atheists, rather than seeing all of those belief systems as belonging to or in the control of Satan or you know, the wicked one or all that, I now see people's belief systems as their best effort to try to find truth. Whether it's spiritual truth as a religious person, whether you're a Jew or a Christian or a Buddhist or a Hindu or whatever, or whether it's just truth from information like atheists are in search of. Either way, I respect and admire people for their search for truth rather than looking down on them because their search and their path is different than my own. I've been to a variety of churches since leaving. I went to Progressive Baptist Church. I've been to uh, a couple of synagogues. I've been to Universalist Unitarian. This uh, Sunday, I'm going to go to a local Presbyterian church that's right up on the corner because I hear they have a great choir and I'm a sucker for a great choir. And it's not because... I share the belief systems of these individuals. No, it's because I appreciate and respect their desire for a spiritual path. And I have that desire myself. And like I said in the last point, I don't want to live in an echo chamber. So if I can look around these different communities, spiritual communities, and see how they tr are trying to accomplish good in the world. I think that that can only help me. And I've also been to an atheist meetup group here a couple of times, and they're wonderful people too. So I think we just need to learn from other people rather than judging other people. You know, us versus them, we're right, you're wrong. I don't think that helps anybody. And that's a big way in which I become a better person since leaving Jehovah's Witnesses. I now accept other people's path. You know, whether it's a spiritual path to enlightenment and truth, or whether it's a scientific, physical, information-based path to enlightenment and truth. I can learn from both, and I have learned from both, and that has made me a better person. So there you go, in no particular order, seven ways in which I have become a better person since leaving the religion of Jehovah's Witnesses. If you've left the religion, I hope that you too have become a better person. And I have one thing I want to say about that. I sometimes see people on social media, whether it's on Twitter or on the XJW subreddit, which I have a lot of respect and admiration for, I see them attacking each other as XJWs, especially people who still have some kind of faith, who still have a belief in God. I see them attacking those people. Ah, there's none of that. None of that's true. You're still stuck in that religion, that religious belief. It's all baloney, blah, blah, blah. And to me, people who behave that way, 
who are still judging each other for their belief systems after leaving the organization of Jehovah's Witnesses, they may be physically out of the organization, but that teaching, that mentality, that judgmental, holier-than-thou mentality that Jehovah's Witnesses have, that's still stuck in their head. And that makes me sad because you, you, you're out. You're gone. You're away from that old mess. Clear it out of your brain. Quit judging other people. That's, that's why, why you were so miserable as a witness to begin with. So stop that. So if you're one of those people and you tend to judge other people for their belief systems, it's okay to think that they're wrong or mistaken. But don't attack other people. If you do that, you're no better than the witnesses that you left and claim to be false. So, you know, let it go. As long as people are good people, as long as you're trying to help and make the world a little better place, respect that. Respect that. And they'll respect you and we'll all give a little bit of our time to help other people. And we can make the world that paradise that we used to believe in. Won't be perfect, but it will be a whole lot better. Well, I hope you liked this video, and if you did, be sure to click like, and don't forget to click the subscribe button and hit that little bell icon, because if you don't hit the bell, you won't get the notifications when I release new videos. And as always, thanks for watching.